Okay, kids. Hi, I'm sorry. Hello, how are you today? I'm here inside the RV and I'm smiling my ass off because if I don't smile, you know, I'll get upset about things. Uh, like I said the other day, I do have a leak in my radiator and it's getting worse. So the man who does my stuff, he told me he would get back to me. He hasn't, but it's not his fault because I did say, look, I have a really pressing issue and I don't want to get upset right now because that would distract me from what I'm doing. And I really had to have my focus on that one thing. And that has been accomplished. So today I'm going to go down and speak to him about my radiator, what he's done. He said that he called the manufacturer and the manufacturer said that he would cover the radiator labor if it had only been like six months. Well, you see, now that I've sat and thought about it, just like I do with things around the RV, you need to do something, just sit and think about it. Look at it, see what you have to do. Okay, so what I'm gonna do right now, I'm not trying to do any kind of uh, entrapment or anything. I'm just gonna go down and I'm gonna hold my phone in my hand, closed in my little case. This is my case so that you see it. See, the phone is right there. <laughs> the phone is there on my, tri on my selfie stick, on my selfie thing. And this is the case. Okay, so I'm just going to hold it with this showing towards towards the man and let him speak and tell me what he did. And, uh, you know, I don't want to burn any bridges or anything or cause any ill will with him. But, I mean, and I would expa explain to him, you know, my beef, my, uh, not my beef, I don't want to put it in negative terms. We'll use some very nice words and make it seem like a very amicable thing because I don't distrust this man. But... If the manufacturer told him that he would pay for it, like I said, up to six months, the manufacturer should pay for it up to three years. And the man who sold me the radiator is the one who I would have the case or the issue with. So he's the one who should pay for the labor for my radiator to go back in. And then he in turn should go to the manufacturer to be reimbursed for that labor. You see how it works? That's why I didn't want to put that video up on YouTube until I have the other footage of me speaking with the man and have him saying that on tape so i'm gonna go down there and talk to the guy he's a real nice man though and uh but if he's jerking me around then he's not really that nice to me you know okay i gotta admit i'm a little bit nervous about this wish me luck and i just gotta keep my mouth shut and just listen not say anything like oh but you should okay wish me luck kids I'm undercover well kids I'm back I went and I saw Randy and I have my camera on and I got more than I bargained for and I got the footage that I wanted I got exactly what he said even at one point he said on the phone to his nephew who does the work because he doesn't have the space to accommodate my vehicle he said you know can you do it really cheap because you know I'm gonna wind up eating this which I could actually bring to court I mean that's that's my smoking gun you know so now I have to weigh this because Randy is so super fair with me and gives me great advice. I so here's the dealio. Randy said that he could fix the radiator. He could take out the radiator and put in a new one, or he could take out the radiator and fix it, which would be a better option to me, I believe, because then he, knowing what's wrong with it, would look at all the other parts of it and preventative medicine, you know, solder wherever had to be soldered and straighten out anything that had to be straightened out. And I really do believe that that's a better option for me because now he's a, he's a pro and he would, like I said, would be able to look at everything and make sure that it's going to be fabulously operational. But I'm going to have to ask him what the warranty will be on that because he said that the manufacturer said, hey, this is a commercial, this is a commercial radiator, so it's really only warranted for one year, not for three, but which isn't my problemo. I bought it from Randy and Randy would have to warranty it for three years. 
He called his nephew and the nephew said that he would do the work for $180 and Randy would supply him the three canisters of Freon that he'll need to replenish my air conditioner. Jeff is only going to charge me $180, which by rights, I shouldn't have to pay for at all. So I have to weigh this. I've already made an arrangement to bring the coach over to Jeff on the 15th of December. 16th, my coach will be ready. And it cost me $180. It's still $180 that I shouldn't have to lay out, but you know what? Legally, I would win in court hands down. No problem. But like my friend, like Elise said, I called her and she had the same mindset. You shouldn't have to pay for a thing. And she bitched just like I did. Here's the thing about my friends. They immediately, immediately come to my, my defense and my rescue and my aid. There is no question about that. It's not like, well, do you think you should do this? Or do you think you should do that? It's, hey, you are 100% right. And then later on they'll say, now, Let's talk turkey. And I fucking love turkey! I think I'm just gonna lay out the 180 bucks and consider myself kind of lucky that this happened here, here and now. And I do believe that I'm gonna walk away with a better product because Randy's gonna fix it. He's gonna give that radiator, his expert attention. I really believe I'm going to walk away with a better product than what I started with, okay? So you guys can, of course, leave your comments down below. What do you think? 